The owner of a Memphis mortuary business is not only picking up bodies. Memphis police say he is also picking pockets of the dead. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Daryl Green. And I'm Darcy Thomas. Now, that owner, we've learned, is accused of stealing thousands of dollars from a dead man whose body he was entrusted to take to a funeral home. Let's go to Fox 13, Sierra Jordan, live in East Memphis. Sierra, you've been searching for answers all day. What would you find? These police records in my hand show that Brian Freeman is the owner of First Call Mortuary. Now, he transports bodies to funeral homes. Now, these police records accuse him of stealing $15,000 using a credit card from a man he was paid to transport. First Call Mortuary is a transportation removal service for funeral homes here in Memphis. 34-year-old Brian Anthony Freeman is the owner. Memphis police say Freeman is charged with fraudulent use of a credit card, identity theft, and theft of property. Police records show after a man died in March, Freeman received a call from his daughter to pick up her father's remains. Afterwards, she noticed fraudulent charges in the amounts of $6,250 and $7,000 on her father's credit cards, but his wallet was missing. The police report says investigators found another charge for nearly $1,700 at a sign company. The manager at the company told an investigator Freeman used a dead man's credit card for a down payment on a sign for Bluff City Mortuary. The report says Freeman claimed to be the owner of Bluff City Mortuary. But when we went by the business, we talked to a woman who said she's the owner and Freeman just delivers bodies for them. But Fox 13 found a post on the National Funeral Directors Association website about the mortuary opening and identifying Freeman as a co-founder. Do not um, in any way agree with people taking from clients. We have a third party contract with the transport service, but he is the owner. Uh, it's, it's devastating to hear. Now, I was able to speak to Brian Freeman earlier today. He told me he has evidence he did not commit these crimes and he didn't want to comment. Now, Brian Freeman is due back in court on October 5th. Darcy, Daryl. That is Fox 13 Sierra Jordan reporting live in East Memphis tonight. Thank you, Sierra.